Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video I want to take a look at a few countries uh, from suggestions people made uh, if, uh, you know, if uh, they ask me to take a look at the energy of certain countries and I'm going to start with Poland. And someone mentioned that they're pretty sick and tired of the Ukraine and Mr. Z. I also saw an article um, a few days ago, maybe a week ago, from someone from the military in Poland saying that there is no ammunition anymore. So they don't have anything to give to the Ukraine. That's not something you usually say out loud, so to speak. So that's not the smartest thing to do, especially not if you're working for NATO. If you're working against NATO, that's the best thing you can do. So there already things are changing. And the uh, cards I got, the first card is the Eight of Swords. The central card is the King of Swords. In the past, we have the Nine of Wands. Underneath the King of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords. And for the future, we have the moon and the ace of pentacles. And the ace of pentacles is like a true beginning. So a new beginning. So Poland is heading towards a complete new beginning. But right now, there's still this feeling of powerless. It wouldn't surprise me that there's still some dark energies working there from the NATO. But there is someone working there to get rid of them. Very radically. So things are being done there. The feeling I get from this person could be a male, most likely it's a king of swords, but doesn't have to be. But I do believe it's a male. Sick and tired of these energies and really want to cut ties in all kinds of ways, including from walking away from NATO, including from the European Union, if I'm not mistaken. They just want to get out of there any kind of influence this person is completely sick and tired with it but there's still this feeling of powerlessness there's still this maybe amongst people you know in Poland that I still feel like where is this going to lead us and this isn't going the right way so there's still this low vibration but there's someone working changing that making radical changes but it can still be very confusing for the coming time what is really going on White hats, black hats, gray hats. It's kind of just walking through each other. How do you say that? It's kind of just mixing through. And it can be very difficult to fully understand what is going on, who's really in charge. But a new beginning will be made. So I do believe someone is actually working for the white hats, cutting ties, making sure that all these influences who are just not right for the Polish people, they're getting rid of them, sick and tired of it. And we also have, of course, the old pain. A lot of things have happened on, on the land of Poland and with the Polish people in the past that needs to be healed as well. So there are still a lot of people there feeling like they don't have any power, that things are just being decided for them, but that is going to change. And there is someone working very hard to change that. And it, it's not just one person, but there's someone really just fed up with this it's not going anywhere. It needs to cut ties, radical changes. So do expect some radical changes on the background. So in the background, I mean, it won't be visible right away. And it could pertain like it's actually meant for something else. But ultimately, this is to make a new beginning for Poland. Changes are being made, but it can still be very confusing which direction it's heading, uh, which way it's going. So that's the energy I got for Poland, but changes are coming and someone is working really hard, obviously with the white hats as well, to change things. And that's very important. The second country I wanted to take a look at is Spain. Of course, I shuffle the cards in my Dutch video. The first card is the three of pentacles for Spain. I have the judgment as the central card. We have the world card in the past. We've got the five of pentacles underneath the central card. And then for the future, we have the four of uh, swords and the four of cups. So this is really about waking up as many people as possible, or at least give them the opportunity. And I've mentioned this in another video that people are like, well, why aren't the white hats taking over, changing everything? But then humanity won't wake up or at least a lot of people will not understand that they have something to do with that as well and that this is about the spiritual awakening 
of humanity and giving them the opportunity, especially when you're taking away their safety, their money, things like that. People will start understanding there's something else going on. And of course they can panic and feel left out. But it's usually when people are uncomfortable that they really start to understand something else is going on. And it's up to each and every one of us to be open for that or not. There will be people that will not be able to, uh, or at least they don't. They won't want to wake up, so to speak. So of course that's that's up to every one of us. That's the free will. But things are in Spain. They're working behind the scenes to really wake up people as much as possible. I think that's really the stage we're in worldwide with everything that's going on. Things will come out. They will try to uh, maybe even create what seems like dark energies, like their takeover. But it's really to wake up people and to really, how do you say this, make them very angry in a way, you know, make them uncomfortable so they won't accept this anymore. Because something will happen. It, it will, first of all, it's not going to seem for a while that something is really happening in Spain, but then suddenly it will just burst open and people will just be fed up with it and will not be accepting whatever the government is giving them. But this is really about feeling left out in the cold, that the government is not there to support them, is not there to, there to help them. That will get people thinking, that will get people out of this uh, trance by being, you know, so uh, in a way submissive. Doesn't necessarily, I'm talking about Spain, but just in general, there are so many people that still believe the government is there to help you, don't want to see the bad things, and we all have to make choices in that. And like I've mentioned, there will be people who will not be seeing it. That's just the way it is. And they will, of course, will, um, you know, their frequency will end up in a timeline that is suitable for them. That is really what's happening as well. But for a while, it will seem like not much is happening, uh, you know, from, from the population in Spain. But suddenly things will change. And I think they will rise, so to speak, because they won't accept this anymore. They won't tolerate this anymore. And that's really what's going on in Spain. A lot of trying to wake up people, try to make them, unfortunately, uncomfortable to get them thinking, to making, you know, showing them that there's something wrong with this system and this is not going to work out for them. It's necessary. And like I said, it's all up to everyone's choices to see it or not to see it. You cannot force someone to see that. You cannot force someone to change their minds. You cannot... People have to be open for things and they have to experience it themselves and see it for themselves. It's like I've mentioned before, if the white hats would just take over, it would be the same situation, but then instead of the black hats, we would have the white hats. And I know there are people out there actually believing that that's happening. I don't see it because they could have taken over by now as well. So... If people, you know, if the white hats or the black hats, you know, if the black hats were in control, the white hats were part of the black hats, then the black hats could have easily already taken over. And uh, the white hats could have taken over themselves as well, essentially. But I've mentioned that in another video, there would be so much civil unrest and, and wars going on in countries because people are not awake to it, they will hold on to what they know. So if you take away that system that they believe is there for them, you're going to have a humongous chaos. And that's obviously not what the white, hat, white hats want. And this is a spiritual awakening and then things will change. So if people start understanding that changing their energies then things will change in the outside world. The last thing I wanted to take a look at, now I have to think which card was there. I think it was the moon as well. And that's Australia, because a lot of things have been happening in Australia as well, uh, especially the past three years. It's been so strict there, especially with the, st the stings and things happening. First card is the king of pentacles. The central card is the six of cups. We have justice in the past. We've got the Page of Swords underneath the uh, Six of Cups and we have the Moon and the 
Ten of Pentacles for the future. So ultimately, Australia will receive, you know, will end up in a new stability and even financial stable. And I think we are, you know, we're all working towards this, but it's very easy, you know, in Australia, it will be stable in the future. But before that happens, there's going to be a lot of confusion. And the emphasis there will be on the children and it could be connected with stinks. Especially now, a lot of things are coming out now in Australia about the stings, about what's been happening the past three years, you know, all the government regulations. So it wouldn't surprise me if things about children are coming out, maybe, you know, in connection with uh, the, um, the stings. So that could really open people's eyes. But we see here the page of sorts that's about information, truth, and things are going to come out, but also other things concerning children could come out. Well, of course, a lot of things have happened in Australia as well, unfortunately, worldwide. It will happen in phases, in stages, so people will be able to handle it, but uh, things will need to come out, obviously. But this is very interesting. So in Australia, things are changing already, but it still will be confusing what's really going on. I think that is also part of the waking up people. And of course, there's going to be confusion because if so, if there, uh, how to say this, if a group is not taking over, you know, radically, then there's going to be confusion. Who is going to be in control? Who's doing what? And I think we are now in that chess game that moves are being made and counter moves. And it's very confusing now in Australia. It's confusing as well. Who is really in the lead? Who is behind what? But there's going to be a new stability coming in. A new stability. And I think that's very, very important. But the emphasis there will be on children. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's connected with the stings. Things are going to come out there more and more about that. And I think that's so important. We really need to see that worldwide. So this is what I've got. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye.